Learning a little bit more tonight about what led up to Sacramento police officers opening fire on a suspect they say was wanted for violating probation. Fox 40's Aton Wallace bringing us a breakdown of exactly what happened. <laughs> that was the call that went out over the Sacramento Police Department radios around 1030 Sunday night. Southbound on 16th Street. Police say at that time, officers were searching for a man wanted on a felony warrant for violating probation. Their search took them here to 16th and A Street where they came across the guy they were looking for. But that's when police say things escalated quickly. They say the suspect hid his hand underneath a blanket and began to move towards the officers. During that contact, the suspect became noncompliant. And while attempting to take that suspect into custody, an officer involved shooting occurred. Thank you, copy. The suspect, who was later determined to be unarmed, had non life threatening injuries and was taken to a local hospital. No officers were injured. The incident marked the department's third police shooting this year. According to records from the city, that is one more than this time last year. Sir, drop the knife. Three weeks ago, Officers shot and killed an armed 75-year-old Michael Moore, seen here in this released body cam video. Police say the recording shows he refused to drop two knives as he threatened others. Before that, in April, police say they shot at Jose Ricardo Borrego after he led them on a chase and first shot at police. Neither officers nor the suspect were injured in that incident. And as for Sunday night shooting, investigators hope the public can help police get some answers. We do know it was kind of late in the evening, but maybe anybody that saw anything that has information to provide to our detectives to please contact the department. Reporting in downtown, Aton Wallace, Fox 40 News.